the Symbolic Portrait Project uses a very specific technique with watercolor, clear transparency film, permanent pen, and oil pastels. This video will guide you through learning this process using a goose as the practice image. Geese are a highly protective animal and will protect their young at almost any cost. Your project will undoubtedly use a different symbol. There will be a few points in the video where I suggest that you pause and catch up. However, if at any time you want to pause and catch up to where I am, feel free to do so. To get started, you will need a goose image, a piece of transparency film about the same size as the goose image, a small piece of sandpaper, a permanent fine point pen, and some colored paper. I'm using watercolor painting that I made, but any colored paper will work. Start by taping the transparency to the goose image. After you've taped the image in place, go ahead and trace the image, but go beyond just the outline itself. Draw every detail and every value change that you see. For example, here I'm tracing the details around the nose and the mouth of the goose. Take your time to carefully get caught up to this point. After tracing, sand carefully inside the image using the sandpaper. Use a circular motion to avoid the look of straight lines. The sanding should appear even and smooth, not like a bunch of back and forth lines. Hold the transparency against a dark background or up against the light to look for unsanded regions. Do not sand outside the image. You may have to shape the sandpaper into specific shapes to get into every area. If you want to bring back any dark lines that you sanded away, you can draw those in now. Choose a color family of oil pastels to use. A cool color family like this, for example. The colors do not have to match real life. Your goose could be purple, for example. Purple sometimes symbolizes royalty or people of wealth. One principle in art is the idea of unity. When you pick colors from the same color family, it will look cohesive, like it all goes together. If you pick a lot of different colors from different color families, you get the principle known as variety. It can provide visual interest, but it can also look like the colors don't really work well together. Another principle in art is the concept of contrast. This orange goose against a yellow background sort of blends in, but place the same goose against a purple background and it really pops off the page. Similarly, the blue goose against a blue background doesn't really stand out, but against the yellow background it does. Choose your colors carefully. Place the sanded transparency back on the original image without flipping it over. What are the darkest areas of the image? For example, in the goose drawing, we see that the neck and the top of the head are almost pure black. Match the value of the original image and use little circles to create color blending as you mix different colors of oil pastels. This area of the goose neck is all black in the original, but I decided to make a color gradation to make it look like a dark blue cylinder. You'll find that the oil pastels don't stick well to areas that you didn't sand. Continue using the full range of values in the color family of oil pastels that you chose and fill in all the spaces. Even the white area here, for example, I decided to use a light blue and then blend it into the white. 
the actual image will be displayed and viewed from the opposite side. Flip your transparency over and see how your image is developing. Evaluate and create as you go. I see I need some areas to be filled in here. This is the same process you'll use on your larger project and the image that you choose. Since this was somewhat complicated, we wanted to make sure you had a chance to practice first. What did you take away from this experience? What was challenging? What do you want to work on next time?